Of course, it's impossible in a course like this to do every single effect, but the major ones are certainly worth looking at, and probably the most important segment effect, or one of the most important segment effects, is going to be what's called the resize effect. This is found in the image category under resize. There are other effects here that are useful, like a flip or a flop. A flip flips the shot. A flop is a little bit more useful. A flop allows me to reverse the the screen direction. I'm going to go ahead and throw the flop on. Watch the shot here. It reversed the segment effect, reverses everything, which is great if there's no text in it. I'm going to use the remove effect to remove that effect. There are other effects here that are very useful, some of which we'll be exploring in this title. But in this case, I'd like to look at the resize. I'm going to drag the resize, throw it on our clip. I'm going to press our effect mode button, and it brings up effect mode. And we have some very, po very powerful things that we can do here with this shot to start with the idea that we can scale it up or down. Now I'm going to throw the fixed aspect switch. I'm going to go ahead and roll open scaling, turn on fixed, a fixed aspect, and I'm going to click here and drag left and right. And you can see I can enlarge and reduce this picture. I'm going to make the picture a little bit bigger than full size, and I can reframe it. While I think the Domokun there, the, this little character, well, I think it's nice. I'm just going to pull it down off screen. I've made this bigger than it originally was. And you can see that by zooming out here a little bit on the picture, we're going to just kind of step backwards from the table. And you can see the gray. The gray is outside of our screen frame. And I'm just going to do that a second time. I'm going to reposition the shot. Now, I did it the first time just by grabbing directly on screen and pulling it upwards. That certainly works. What also works is going to position and adjusting its X value, its left and right value, or its Y value, its up and down value. And if I wanted to, I could make this much more full frame. I could focus in on this character, this little stuffed animal. Or more likely, I'm going to go ahead. Now, I want this to be a little bit more precise. I'm going to click on the X, and I can type in numerically a number like 130 and press the Enter key. Since it was a fixed aspect, it was going to set the X and Y to the same value. It's fairly important to know that above about 130, 140%, pictures begin to look soft, don't look great. Under the X and Y, I'd like this lower on the screen. I'm going to click on the Y, that's the up and down value. And instead of dragging it, I'm going to use the arrow keys to take it one value at a time. Or if I had the shift keys, it's going to do it 10 at a time until I get this just so this little character is off screen and not visible. You'll notice there's a little fine black edge at the top. I just need to bring up the scale a little bit. I'm going to take the scale up maybe 135 or so, just like that. And I'm going to just reach out to the picture and reposition it, because I want you to see these two people sleeping here. I want them to be the primary focus rather than the trash. So we have the ability to scale, we have the ability to position. The only reason you might want to crop is to remove something from a picture, to take out its top, bottom, left, or right. I'm not going to do that with this picture. But this is the basic idea of a resize. It allows you to scale up or scale down a clip. And usually, we're using it to scale up and reframe what we're looking at on a clip. When we exit effect mode, you'll actually see the screen normal. You won't see it reduced 50% in size so we can see stuff outside of the tableau of the actual screen. So when I click on effect mode here in the timeline, that'll snap back to being full screen, fully visible. And you can see we've zoomed in on the original shot. I'm going to go ahead here in match frame just to contrast it, show you the very, very original shot and what it looked like. Actually, I can do that on the timeline. There's my match frame. You can see first time on the left, the original shot, We've got a lot of stuff competing for our interest. On the right, the zoomed-in shot that we used to resize. We're paying attention to these two people sleeping outside. 